Welcome back to Control. No, the second DLC is still not out, but we have yet another very, very important thing to do in the Foundation DLC. I've been informed that it's possible to get cat ears for Jesse. Remember all those cats that we found in odd places? Little Easter eggs? Well, turns out if you find them all, you get cat ears. So I'm using a guide that I'm going to link in the description if you'd like to read it for yourself. And I'm just going to go from cat to cat. So let's start with cat number one. Um, the first step is to go into the basement lab. That's the elevator in the bottom of the warehouse that goes down into the secret lab. And we're supposed to turn the valve that we find in one corner. I've actually already done that. If you remember down there, there was a valve that you turn. I noticed that the pipes went up and I kept searching for where those pipes went, but I couldn't find what the heck the point of that thing was. Well... It turns out, if we turn on one of the showers in one of these yellow rooms, that's what we've turned on. We've basically turned on the water for the shower, and a cat will appear. I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's gotta be this one. Yes! Oh god. Cat number two, it says from the astral collision control point, which is where we're at now, turn right and head straight and down. You should see a golden cube near two beams. Oh, right. These beams. Yeah, I remember finding a cube here and being very confused. Um, grab the cube and launch it at the toilet stalls around the corner. Okay, we've done that. For the second part of cat number two, we're supposed to head to the collapse department control point, which is where we're at. And it says, head into and up at data processing. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, this is the right place. Uh, we're supposed to look for the nearby... Oh. Supposed to look for the nearby toilet block that's merging with the astral plane and then launch the golden cube into its corresponding spot and you're done. Aha! Gotcha! Alright, this one seems to be long. Uh, cat number three. It says it requires eight total nail cubes. I don't know what a nail cube is. Uh, anyway, number one, spawn at the cave bridge. Control point, that's where we are. One is right beside you, and three more on the ground floor to the right of you. Four cubes total. Oh, so this is called a nail cube. Oh, right, because it's a cube and it looks like it's made of the same material the nail is. That makes sense, actually. Right. Uh, hold on, what are we actually doing with these? With all pieces collected, place them in the nearby grid on top of squares marked with cat paw prints. There's cat paw prints on the squares? I know what squares they're talking about. There's those, like, grids. Uh, yeah, here. I didn't notice the paw prints. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> All right, cat number four. It says start at collapsed apartment. Make your way to the far right path to crossroads. Far right path. Oh, the Fractured Cavern? I think this one I've maybe gotten. Cat number five. Start at the collapsed apartment. Make your way into the data entry area. Look to the right and find an office with a painting in the center of a wall. That one. And there's supposed to be another thing we need to break, I guess. This? Ah, there you are! 
you are. Okay, this one's going to be really interesting for me. So we're supposed to go back to the warehouse, head to the elevator, and take it to the highest level. And along the way, you'll notice there are four red hiss clusters as you head upwards. Yeah, I, I totally noticed that. I tried to blow them all up, and I couldn't. You'll need to melee all four of them in one journey. Oh, you have to do it in one try. Aha. Okay, that might be pretty tricky. I need to melee them. I don't remember how to melee. Ah, V, right. God, this warehouse is so tall. <laughs> Right, middle, left. Back, right, forwards, left, I think. Let's try that. Back, right, forwards, left. When you see the red, I'm going to do it. Oh, it only works when going up, doesn't it? Well, it seems to happen pretty close to the top. Can we just, like, start from four and go up? Left, forwards, right, back, I think is what it's going to be. Oh, I see. Melee doesn't occur in the direction your character's facing, but rather where you're facing. But yeah, that totally works. We don't have to go all the way down to the bottom. In fact, we can probably just go to the elevator machine room. Got them all! Yeah! Hello! Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, this is that big arena in, you know, this area. <laughs> in the astral plane, you know, the big one. Uh, you shoot these crystals, there's a cube down there, and then it says... Uh, take the cube ahead of you and destroy another set of crystals to reveal where the cube needs to go. I mean, do they mean these crystals? I don't think those are going to reveal anything. Oh, never mind. There it is. One more cat to go. Alright, remember where we did the uh, whole Ahti and the TV thing in this super dark cavern? Uh, this is where the final cat is. Uh, I think my light disappeared. Ah, I can take this one. Yeah, so there's supposed to be a hole in the wall next to some rubble. And there's supposed to be like a teddy bear in there and stuff. I remember we found a teddy bear, but we didn't find a cat. Is it that? Oh. This isn't the room I found with a teddy bear. Is there another room with a teddy bear? Please tell me I can't come in here. Ah. Hey. Talented janitor. An odd thing happened today. I was on my way into the lower caves to visit the id. I was bringing them a teddy bear to see what they do with it when I came across a stranger. I found his unperturbed composure in this strange place curious, so I engaged him in conversation. 
He explained himself in an idiosyncratic, foreign manner. I believe he's one of the Finnish immigrants that have been arriving to the city. It's odd that the Bureau has already brought sanitation services down here. Cleanliness is next to godliness, I suppose. His name was difficult to make out, but I found him to be an interesting fellow. He knows a surprising amount about this place and seems to move in it with uncanny ease, which I admit vexes me a bit. I thought I would master the twists and turns of this beast's belly before some janitor, and yet he easily slipped away and left me lost in the red caves when I tried to pursue. I hope to run into him again. He seems to feel right at home here, as I am beginning to. Perhaps next time I'll introduce him to the id. I bet they'd like that singing voice of his. Are you ready for the cat ears? They're all waiting for us. this oh it's like some <laughs> it's some of the cat's favorite things a box a pillow toilet paper to mess up beautiful God, that is too cute. <laughs> I wonder if the characters comment about it, especially Emily. Please, please, Emily, say something. Say something about my super cute cat ears. Emily. If you're not going to listen to me, then you better go figure out how to stop this. There's no telling what could happen if the vibrations escalate. I, I am listening. I'm gonna keep looking around. I wish I could go with you, but I still need... No comment, huh? Crystals? Cave paintings? This place is... Dang. Oh well. I'm gonna keep... This was still totally worth it. Look at that. 